we've had to move our cars back and forth because they're paving, you know, they're doing that. Yeah. And it's essential because there was a drainage um, caved in. Yeah, we saw, I saw your notice. We placed that, it was a serious liability waiting to happen. <laughs> Bishop Henning had a nice uh, homily yesterday. It was on, uh, you know, the diocesan yeah. uh, TV. And uh, somebody put on Facebook, uh, Jim Cunningham, you know, another priest from, you know, yeah. he might be his classmate at the seminary. Good afternoon. Uh, today's Monday of Holy Week. Can you believe it? Uh, we will be beginning Mass in a few moments. Just uh, an announcement, if you're driving by, you might see that they're doing the resealing of our parking lot. Part of it was essential and necessary because the uh, drainage uh, well caved in, so they had to replace that. So while they were here, they figured to do everything at the same time. Uh, today, the entrance to the cemetery is blocked off. It will open again much later this afternoon when it dries. Uh, also, tonight at 5 p.m., we're having the service of forgiveness. It's not general absolution, it's something else. I will explain it in detail at 5 p.m. So tune in then to celebrate forgiveness uh, tonight. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Once again, we come together to celebrate the Eucharist in these difficult times. And again, we ask the Lord to bless us, to bless our world, to help those who are suffering because of the epidemic that's going around. We ask the Lord to pardon us for our failings and for any lack of kindness or consideration that we've been showing. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord, Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord, Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to your Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, Why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This week, four of the first readings are going to be remarkable passages. They come from a prophet who lived perhaps 520 years from Jesus. But as you listen to them during the week, you discover that the Christians grasp these passages as talking about Jesus and who he was and what he came to the world for. So we begin today with the first of those passages. They're called the Songs of the Suffering Servant because the person that the prophet is talking about is called the Servant of God. So the first passage talks about how God chose this person, this servant, and sent him into the world. That he was to be a light to the people, bring light to the nations, bring justice to the world, and that he would do it in a way that was humble and gentle and kind. And in the Gospel, we have an example of Jesus showing the light uh, first of all, the, the light is there because one of the great signs that he did to raise Lazarus from the dead, it's all about being in the home of Lazarus. And the light that Jesus showed about who he was and where he came from by raising Lazarus from the dead. But there's also the simple story of, of Judas and, and the oil that, that Mary poured on the feet of Jesus. And while absolutely essential caring for the poor that maybe in this occasion, this was really a preparation for Jesus' death, and so Mary should not be criticized for not selling the oil and using it for the poor. And so we wonder, in what way is Jesus showing the light for us today? Uh, as we go through the things we're going through, there's certainly lots of stuff in our world. Where is the light shining for us? Maybe it's to look at our world and to see, uh, well, we put a lot of trust in it. We see how fragile it is has not only sickness and health, but the collapse of economic institutions and the loss of jobs and all these things. All of these things are essential for our lives, but maybe the light is telling us to remember that there's something more, something beyond this, something that we're called to live in this world, but the light shows us of how we don't live, trusting in something greater, and that is God's presence and God's love among us. Let us bring our needs before our loving God. For all those who are suffering from the, end of, from the uh, pandemic uh, and for all those who are working to cure them and to stop it in some way, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, because while this pandemic is going on, so also are the, the battles and the fights in different countries and the suffering of people because of the war. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray our political leaders to work for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering in a special way because of these difficult times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our parish who carry burdens of different kinds, for all the intentions that you and I bring to this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intention of this Mass, for Anna and James Cappiello, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, offered through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy Catholic Church. Look graciously, Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here. May what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we encourage bear for us fruit to eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy upon us all, so that with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us exchange with those in our minds and hearts a good, good, good sign of peace, the Lord's peace among us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. as people at home are not able to receive Holy Communion as we are receiving here. May you receive the grace and love of Jesus Christ who comes to us in a spiritual way as you celebrate this Eucharist. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries. Under your protection, may we keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May your protection, Lord, we pray, defend the humble. May it keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Yes.